This is Matt from NoCodeTrainer.com. I hope you liked this video and you can take what you learned from it and incorporate it into your own bubble application. If you do, please make sure to click like and leave a comment in the comment section with how you'll use it inside of your application. If you'd like to be kept up to date with more tips and tricks you can use in your bubble app, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out NoCodeTrainer.com for more exclusive content. In this video, we're going to go over how you can get a YouTube video to play directly on the page inside of your bubble application with just a little bit of code and a free plugin. Once you have that set up, you'll be able to have a page that when it is loaded, it should automatically start playing the video. It doesn't always do it. So there is sometimes a failure in that sense, but Overall, the video player goes through and smoothly completes the video, and you end up at the end, if you want to, to be able to actually trigger a workflow. And what we have is a little alert that's going to pop up in the right-hand corner. So what we need to be able to make this happen, first thing that we're going to take a look at is the YouTube video player. So to create the YouTube video player, you're just going to put an HTML element onto your page, and then you're going to put this code into it. Now, what this code has in there is a lot of stuff that's associated with JavaScript to be able to make certain functions happen. But there is a little bit that you could actually easily make changes to if you're not familiar with code, and that is the height and the width. So here we have the height and the width setting, and we can actually change the size of what this video player will render as. And when we do that, you can optionally set this up to be dynamic if you're going to end up wanting to make some more dynamic changes in that way. What you see around the border there, that's just part of my HTML melon style. So let me get rid of that border as it sort of takes away from what it looks like as the video player. So then the only other area that you'd be concerned about is the video ID. And so we're not using the entire URL of the YouTube video. We're just using the ID portion. And again, this is something that you can set up to be a dynamic value if you're going to be taking them from a current pages thing. If you want to show some sort of video that goes along with possibly a retailer. Uh, but whichever approach or reason that you're taking for having this, you want the video ID. There are some other uh, choices that you could be making here about whether or not it plays in line, which means does it start right away? And so the choice would be either one or zero. Uh, so you just would change this value right here between one and zero. A little bit of other code that's going on in here that you wouldn't really want to make any sort of changes to. And then what we have at the bottom here, this is actually what's associating our ability to recognize the end of the video and then trigger a workflow within Bubble. So to be able to do that, what we end up needing is a plugin, and that plugin is called Toolbox, and we're using that plugin to be able to access an uh, element that's called JavaScript to Bubble, as well as a workflow trigger that's associated with that. So once you have the Toolbox plugin installed, you would need to get a JavaScript to Bubble element onto the page, and I already have one there, so I'll just draw one out right next to it. Now, there's a couple of things that's going on in here, and without going into all the details about how JavaScript to Bubble works and everything else it can do, the main thing that we want to do here is give it a suffix. And the suffix is basically like a name value. And so you can make it whatever you want. Uh, in this, we just simply used one. And so when you come back into this HTML element here and scroll down to the bottom, uh, you can see that we have Bubble FN1. And what that means is this is bubble function one, and one is referencing that bubble function suffix that we added right here into this input value, okay? So the other thing that we wanna do is make sure that this trigger event checkbox is checked. So when we check that box, basically what it's allowing us to do is inside of the workflow area, access this JavaScript bubble event as a trigger. 
And so when we come into our elements as the type of choices, we have a JavaScript above what you meant. You need to choose the element. So because we have two of the JavaScript bubbles on the page, we have those two choices. Typically, you might only have one of them. And so it just kind of auto select it for you. So once you select it, that's all you need to do. And then you have all the different workflows that you might run. In this example, we're using another free plugin that is called Air Alert. There's a few other choices out there in terms of free plugins that provide you with some more customizable type of alerts. And so definitely check those out and see which one that you like more. I personally just kind of prefer this one. And so I use it throughout most of my apps. Now, all I'm doing is just setting that one workflow action. That's it. There's nothing else to it. And so that is what this element is allowing us to do. But it is also this code right here that's really making that possible for us to give us that ability. So that's all you need to do to get the HTML element, the JavaScript to bubble, and that workflow to be able to play a YouTube video directly on the page. So hopefully this was helpful for you and you'll be able to find ways to make use of it inside of your own bubble application. Thanks for watching the video. Hope that you found this helpful. If you'd like to be able to get editor access, please make sure that you check out the site, nocodetrainer.com. The link is in the description to the video where you'll be able to gain access into the editor and be able to check out how things were set up within the application itself.